Hey guys, Anthony here. Quick introductory video tonight. I want to show you some of the RV essentials that I picked up over the last several days. Getting ready for the countdown to pick up, which is tomorrow, Wednesday, April 20th. Hopefully I'll have my RPOD, Forest River RPOD 179 tomorrow. This is the uh, brochure. These are what the new models look like, the 2017 models. Mine is a brand new 2015 model, a little bit different exterior uh, coloring or scheme, but the inside of my model is the 179. It's, um, it's the 179. That's what the inside looks like, you know, almost a little bit different color, color scheme, but the same layout. The large slide out dinette, the kitchen in the uh, front where the door is, your bathroom here. Uh, you can go online and look up Forest River R Pods 179 and see what the inside looks like. There's the uh, dinette, uh, RV queen bed, roll out um, TV on the arm. Uh, a lot of options in it. Got all the options that almost every option that comes with it, including the R Dome, which is an outdoor, basic, basically an outdoor screen room that attaches to it. So tomorrow I'll have live pictures of that, but tonight I wanted to scan over here and show you some of the items uh, that I picked up over the last several days after watching some YouTube videos, uh, several YouTube videos, some getting some advice from other RVers out there, um, some local people that I know uh, have given me some advice on some of the things you might need, and you know, there are some items that do come with the trailer. So tomorrow when I get there, I'll see what those items are. I'll have these items and anything else I need for uh, camping, I'll pick up as I need it. But uh, let's just go through these items quick. Of course you need chocks for the tires. So I bought a set of uh, four chocks. Got most of this stuff at Walmart, some online at uh, on Amazon. Campco stabilizing jack pads. I got four of those. Those are what your stabilizers go on to uh, when you uh, want to stabilize the trailer once you get it, uh, you know, once you get it set up. Uh, not going in any particular order here. Some black heavy-duty gloves for emptying the uh, dump water tank or wastewater tank, excuse me. Uh, this light was recommended by an RV couple on YouTube. Uh, they have a big channel. I'll put shout outs to their channels as the days go by. But this is a Stanley Fat Max 2000 lumen rechargeable LED light. It can be recharged in your cigarette lighter and inside in the wall adapter. Uh, Lynx levelers when your trailer, when you're parking your trailer and one side's on level, you have a stack of these Lynx levelers and you use them like little stackers there to back your tire on to get your trailer level. So I'll pick those up at Walmart. Um, going across back here, uh, drinking water hose, uh, very important to have for your fresh water line going into your camper. So I got a 50 foot section and a 25 foot section just to make sure. Sometimes you might need, might not need the 50 and the 25 will do. Then I got a, a good heavy duty regular uh, you know, garden hose, 25 foot, with heavy duty fittings on it that can't be crushed. Uh, and I got a, you saw in my last night video at the campground, a six foot hose extension with a nice nozzle. So I have regular water hose as well. Uh, a, a pump sprayer for things like, uh, for me, it might be mixing a little bleach and water together, make a little disinfectant solution to spray on certain things or whatever you want, you could just spray you know, dishes down with this or whatever. Uh, so a good little garden sprayer have, uh, is good to have. Uh, watched a lot of videos on YouTube regarding this Oxygenix Body Spa. It replaces the one that comes in the trailer uh, for your showers. This basically uses the same amount of water, but does something to it, oxygenates it, infuses it, and makes it a lot more pressure. So in, the, uh, in my RV, I have a, what's known as a wet bath. So to make the most of the water and the most of a quick shower, I bought this Oxygenics head on Amazon. 
think it was 31 bucks. Got a lot of high reviews on YouTube and from a lot of our potters. Uh, belong to an RPOD group on uh, Facebook and uh, many of them recommend this. That's where I pick up a lot of uh, ideas on the RPOD is from the Facebook group I belong to. There's hundreds of uh, members. Uh, Campco RV Marine water filter for the inlet. Just uh, some basic insurance on uh, you know water going into the fresh water tank. You need to have a good uh, um, chamois this absorber is excellent. I've had one that I use on for my cars, and I've had it for over 20 years, and it still works to this day perfectly. Uh, next up, Accurite digital refrigerator freezer thermometer. Basically, you put one each in the refrigerator freezer, and you stick this up. Uh, has a uh, suction cup mount. You stick this up on the wall outside on you know on the camper in the interior and it gives you your indoor temperatures of your freezer and your refrigerator and that's wireless it gives a wireless reading so that 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 was pretty cool uh, coming back around here this is a an adapter when you're dumping your waste tank to put on so you can see the actual waste coming out so you know when you're when you're doing your final tank rinses uh, you're making sure your water comes out clear when you do your, your uh, black water tank cleanouts. Saw a lot of videos using people using that as well. Uh, this is a an elbow from the RV going to the fresh water spigot and then my water filter would be hooked on uh, to that there. So that'll be at the trailer end. Uh, a water pressure regulator at the water bib end at the RV parks to regulate the water pressure so you don't blow your pipes out, your water lines out inside your trailer. Everybody has those, and uh, so I pick one of those up. Uh, Thetford, this came with my toilet, so I have this, and I also have the uh, 12, pack of 12 uh, sachets that you could put down in the toilet tank. Um, it helps dissolve all these solids from your wastewater tank. I thought this would be important, Accurite humidity monitor indoor temperature system to keep track of the humidity inside the RV. Uh, this here, just a toothbrush um, toothbrush thing that sticks on the wall, holds two toothbrushes and cut with a cover. Oh, and an expandable broom and dustpan. You know, it's a nice little compact for storage, but yet it expands uh, to a regular uh, broom size. Um, I think that's it. I got a couple. My wife's got a whole bunch of items uh, that she ordered on her end, you know, to help get the trailer started, stocking it like dishes and uh, you know, sort of like making it at home. So I left that end up to her. And once I get it in house this week, uh, she'll start adding her little personal touches to it. Um, for those of you that don't know, my wife just went through major surgery. Um, brain surgery i did a video on it a while back and uh you know one of the things just made me realize that life is short and i just want to spend a lot more time with her we're coming up this may 9th will be our 29th wedding anniversary uh and 35 years together 35 years together I met my wife in college and we've been together basically ever since been married 29 years so um one of the things I wanted to do with, with her getting sick and having a brain tumor and having successful surgery and recovering the last six weeks and me being home with her much of that time, you know, I've just come to realize that, uh, you know, our lives are really short and um, I want to spend more time together uh, when we can. And one of the best ways, I think, is, you know, hitting the open roads and whether it's going down to the Florida Keys, to Naples, across the alley, up north a little bit to, uh, through northern Florida and into the other states. I just thought having a, a travel trailer for the both of us and the dogs would be a good thing and hopefully it will be and we'll enjoy uh, enjoy ourselves while also you know having uh, on the prepper end being prepared for you know maybe not being able to live in your house for an extended period of time but having a you know a trailer uh, travel trailer to um, use as a shelter as well. So there's always that angle when I'm doing things as well. But it's not all 
you know, work. It's going to be a lot of uh, fun and travel and seeing the country and seeing staying closer together. That's basically what I, what we want to do. So I'll be doing a lot of vlogging on our trips as we start, which will actually start tomorrow. I'm bringing the, bringing it to the campground at Markham Park, and we're going to uh, just take it through some paces and. Um, if anybody wants any info on any of this gear or has any uh, good information to share regarding RVs, travel trailers, please do so in the comments section. It will not only help me, but it will help others that are watching videos like I have been trying to learn about um, RVs and the RV life. Before I close, here's a quick shot of Charlotte who has been sick the last couple days. We had her at the at the vet yesterday they took some x-rays she's had some stomach problems but uh she's really doing good she just took her medicine tonight i'm getting ready to take her and teddy out for a walk but she's resting very nicely and her and teddy actually love the they love the rv when we went to look at it they were laying on the bed and uh laying on the um on the couch and walking around the trailer like it was theirs so we want to wish her a speedy recovery as well. And um, you'll be seeing them this weekend too as we um, go into the trailer. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you for uh, joining me for this video. Um, I figured this would be the best way to kind of lay a lot of the stuff out and show it to you. One of the questions on my van was uh, somebody asked, will you keep your van the same? And the answer is yes. My van is kind of a separate entity it's got gear on it and you know it's set up for a certain way and that'll basically stay that way and believe it or not a lot of stuff that I have on the van I could also use in the camper like pots and pans and uh, I have um, uh, cast ironware in the van so that's interchangeable but a lot of the stuff will remain on the van and we'll put some personal touches on the RV and a lot of this stuff will stay, you know, on the RV or in the RV storage um, once we set it up. So I have it uh, while traveling. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support, all the comments, all the prayers. And uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll be headed out to uh, Naples. Excuse me, not Naples. Across Alligator Alley to Punta Gorda, Florida. Um, and I'll be picking up the uh, RV. They have to do some wiring in my van to, to for the electric brakes and set that all up. So I'm going to get out there early at 9 a.m. when they open, get all that work done, get a walk around on the camper done, and then uh, hopefully be headed back on the two-hour journey across the alley back home to my campsite. So I'll make some vids tomorrow, hopefully at the RV place, and... Um, more vids this week as they are as they're ready thanks for watching guys stay ready anthony signing off